Where are we? Huh? Ness had a dream, and it was a very clear and very strange dream. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 12-Bit Tony, to Lame in the Far East. When we last left our hero, he had just eaten a magic cake, and I'm guessing he died. No, he's just having hallucinations. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the, pal the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Yeah. I'm Pooh, baby! Pooh up in the chest! Whoa! Brain food lunch! Whoa! Couple of noodles! Whoa! Brainstone! 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 Be up to say. He's trying to learn Jewish! Go in peace! Are you a phone? Hello? Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. Let's put you have a sense of humor in time like this. Nice. Record. No, we're gonna continue. Just like your mother. Think some someone else. Someone named Ness. When really, I am Pooh, Prince of Delane. Hey, lady. Prince Pooh! My favorite blush tea. Oh, yeah. That's into me. That is into me. Ah, what a beautiful country. Is this floating? Is it a floating country? That's so cool. Preet poot. Oh, I guess you're playing a thing. Hey. Oh, Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like it's all you do these days. Take some time to play with me. I'm so lonely without you. What about you, lady? Oh, Prince Pooh, do you have time to play with me? Sure. Happy me. Patty cake, patty cake. Nice. Every teen's so party. Who are you? What do you got to say for me? I heard that Prince Pooh's deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Moo training? <laughs> Wait, Prince Pooh, blush, you are such a hunk. <laughs> the lame restaurant. Except dollars. <laughs> Do I have dollars? I have no dollars. Oh, this is rabbits! Can I talk to you? As strange as it may sound, there are statue of rabbits statues of rabbits blocking your way. No one in there. Oh maybe it maybe I'm just on top of a mountain? Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Alright over here. Ah, this looks appropriate. Where are you? This is Moo, the place as is where I need to go. People who train here must first clear their, clear everything from their mind. Moo's Moo. Sounds like Ka. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again <laughs> so long. Oh, nice. Let's go up here. Prince Pooh, I have a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. I don't know if I trust you. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Okay, now I know you're lying to me. I know you're lying. I'm staying right here in training. Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? 
So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? This is all part of my training. Ugh. Ah, Prince Pooh. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Wow, that was quite a trip. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Damn it. Yay. Training is complete. That was freaky. Is anyone else feeling that? Anyone else feel a little violated right now? Cause um, I I feel a little violated by what just happened there. <laughs> Giant golden palace. How nice! Giant golden palace. If you're feeling violated, you. I am proud. You have completed your moo training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge this entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Pooh's level's now 16! Oh baby! Fence went up by 3. Oh baby! Defense went up by 3. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. HP went up by 9. PP went up by 5. Shield beta. 17. Offense went up by 1. HP. PP. Teleportation alpha. Pooh's level's now 18. Offense. Defense. Look! Maximum HP. Maximum PP. Pooh realized the power of teleportation beta. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. Pooh joined you. And ladies and gentlemen, the Fab Four. This is the final group. We have all four of the chosen ones. Alright, you! Lady! I had this experience with a cup of coffee once, and I was like, this close to being over it. Then you show up with your freaky cake that turned me into that guy. Are you even listening to me? Are you even listening? Whatever. Okay. Let's see, where are we going next? What does he have on him? Tiny Ruby. Huh. Wasn't there a guy in the museum who said he would do something for jewels? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, it's the other way. Boo! Oh, 
The cool thing about Pooh, I mean the character, not the defecation, is that he doesn't equip things the same way that other guys, uh, the other characters do. He, he can't equip, like, normal things that other people equip. <laughs> he has a very specific, uh, of kings equipment set. It's called where he has the cloak of kings, the uh, something of kings, the something else of kings, and the sword of kings, which is uh, hard to get. Where's the... Did I pass? I did. It was the last building. That's what I get for getting caught up here. But yes, so Pooh is inexpensive as a character, thank God, because other people are going to cost me a lot for equipment. Ah, yes. Right now, part of this character is Mary Mall, so I already have three persons. Say hard! Okay, we good. Hey, hey! This room is being remodeled. Oh, the samurai kid is here. <laughs> Will be giving me that gem? Ah, I thought that would work. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. <laughs> oh, nice. What? I seen that coffin move. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers, but oh, I hate that kid. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. Looks like I gotta fight these things. Let's do it. Shattered Man, is it? Well, let's shatter him even further with Psy Freeze. What do you know? Ooh, he knows Freeze as well! Ah, yeah, baby. You won! Mummy Wrap. This is levels now 40! Father's level's now 34. Jeff's level's 36. Pooh's level's 19. Pooh's level's 28. Yeah! Pooh's level's not 20. Oh god, this is gonna go on forever, ain't it? Oh, he's a sign magnet. This is one more thing I gotta fight. Oh, it's it. It's your dad. You've been at it for a long time now. Dad, don't interrupt me. I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Boop. Boop. Shattered Man, we got this. We got this. We know how to kill him now. Use lots of ice. Throw things at him. <sighs> Coffee. Smack. Smack. Ah, yeah, baby. Paul's level's now 35! Yeah. Pooh's level's 22. I'll go up one more. 23. Nice. Gonna keep going or what? Nah, that's it. <laughs> oh. Hey. Pooh read the hier read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place that of time is beyond the dark, and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the darkness. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Okay. Apu's got an idea. Ness, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Sounds worth it. <laughs> Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. Reward for studying so hard. I'm surprised you didn't use it in your human civilization class. Haha. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't charge me for that. An arm and several legs. Several body pieces. Alright, so we gotta go to Scaraba. Which means we gotta find a way to get to Scaraba. Oh! Is Mr. Fork of the Scarab Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy! I found something so extraordinary that mere words cannot do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon from the Foreside Museum of National Half a Dinosaur. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous! Click beep. Well, it sounds to me like we have a direction to go then. Looks like we are heading to Foreside, guys. We are heading to Foreside. Let's do it! 
I love teleporting. Hey, there's the Musin. Let's go see what he's got to say for himself. <laughs> this is half a dino. Hey, you, over there. Get over here. The admission fee is $5 per person. How's it, why is it more here, but there's less there? There's, like, less thing. It's a half a dino. That's it. Just, just this. Just this half a dino. That's all that's in here. <sighs> you. You called. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the DePola Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an era eraser? I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. <sighs> Alright, looks like we gotta get him an autograph. <laughs> well, we're coming up to our limit today, guys, which means we're probably gonna have to cut it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm cutting it off at the worst times, aren't I? But, make sure to tune in tomorrow, where we go and get an autograph for a dirty, smelly guy so he can show us something extraordinary. Why do I have the feeling it has something to do with that odd spot i seen beyond the fence in Foreside? Till next time, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and, uh, yeah, make sure to tune in tomorrow at noon, because 12-Bit Tony is on going. Peace out, y'all.